Hello and welcome to my next video tutorials. Mr.NET is here. And in this video tutorial, I explain how we can create with Unity 2D a simple 2D game. This game calls Snake. The most people of us know this game. This tutorial series is for a beginner in Unity to improve their skills. So hopefully you enjoy my videos. And if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel or give me a feedback so that I can improve my videos in the future for you. Hopefully you enjoy it. The first thing what we have to do is to create a 2D game with Unity. Then I created a resource folder. The name of this folder has to be resources. This is because the resource loader only load resources inside this folder at runtime. So if the name does not exist, the resource order cannot load your resources. Then I create an image folder and inside this folder I have three pictures. One picture is the head of the snake, one picture is the middle part or the body of the snake and then I have an apple that's the meal for the snake. So then I have a folder with scripts, inside this folder I create my scripts and then I change the resolution of my view here. So I create with this plus here a new display resolution, I take 500, 500 and 500. So 500 width, width and 500 height. That's enough for my game. So now we can create our first game object. Right click, game object, UI and I create a panel. This panel I change the color, the color will be white and we have no transparency. Then I insert into my canvas here a new UI, an image and this image will be our prefab for our game object. So I create here a new folder, I call this folder prefab prefabs and inside this folder I drag and drop this image object the color turning into blue and now I rename this prefab here to image prefab after that I can delete this image from my scene and now I can create my first script. I say right click create a C sharp script and I call it English game behavior. Then double click to start Visual Studio. After Visual Studio started I have here two methods, the start method and the update method. I delete the update method because I didn't need it. And the next step is to load the resources of my resource folder. So these pictures. For that I create a method private void load images. And with this method, I use the resource object with the method load. And inside these brackets, I have to, to use the type what I want to load. And our images are sprites. So I use here the 
object sprite and inside these brackets here I have to use the the path where the sprites are are saved so from the resource path here I have the images folder and I use here images this method returns me a single sprite object so I use the load all method and this method returns me a sprite array so bunch of sprites After I loaded the sprites from the folder, I have to save it in my game so that I can access it in the runtime. And for that, I create a private dictionary. As a key, I use the name of the sprite, and here, and the, va the value is the sprite object. So I call the dictionary sprites and instantiate a new dictionary and then I use a for each loop to iterate through all sprite arrays here and I insert each sprite inside this sprite array into my dictionary so I use underline sprites dot add the key is the name of the sprite and the value is the sprite well after I create my method I have to invoke this method in my start method to load all resources when the game is start. So I save this, I go back into Unity and start my game. So to check if all resources are, lo are loaded, I set here in my script a breakpoint and then I start the script. Inside Unity, when I start the game, nothing happens. So I stop the game and I stop the debugger. Nothing happens because we did not add the script here to our game scene. So I click to my panel so that the panel is visible in my visitor and then I go to my script folder whoop, and in my script folder I drag this English game behavior script here into my panel then I save here the scene I go back to Visual Studio start the debugger and then I start my game we see the, deb the debugger stops while I'm calling this method here and with F10 I can step the next in the debugger or I can use F11 to step inside a method this is only on Windows, I don't know which button you have to use on Mac. So I press F11 and inside my load images method with the resources load all method we see we have loaded three sprites the apple, the head and the middle. And in my for each loop I insert each sprite into this dictionary so we see count three we have here three values apple head and middle so 
to load our pictures now works.